What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another video, man. Today's video is very, 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 very important. The Holy Spirit wanted me to touch on this video. Um, shout out to my man, Andy. Um, we go to the same church. He um, he actually had this video on his TikTok because it started with a conversation that I had, a sexual dream. I already know what happens when you have a sexual dream. But he informed me a little bit more because what I thought that I was free from this succubus, incubus demon, which I am, uh, was an oppression because sometimes when you get free, they attack you more. So this video that he had on his TikTok was very disturbing. I'm going to play it. And, um, and it, it's very deep because almost everybody goes through this that's in the world they don't know. If you fornicated woman or guys, if you slept around not married, more than likely you have a succubus, incubus, spirit husband, or spirit wife. So I'm going to play the video and you guys and joy and holy spirit touch them with this knowledge touch them with this knowledge holy spirit man people think this stuff is a game as y'all seen right there she was very exciting uh before she manifested she was very exciting uh she was happy to get married too and a lot of people need to understand that the spirit world is more real than the natural the spirit world made the natural what we're living in is nothing compared to the spirit world we was created by a spirit the spirit of the living god and it came down as Jesus Christ manifested in human form. But y'all see right here. So a lot of Christians, if y'all have sexual dreams, um, you could have a succubus, incubus spirit, or you could be like me. I don't, I, I, I had one, but it was an attack. Some people get attacked. But if you're a non-Christian watching this on Instagram, YouTube, you might want to go get delivered because they are very territorial spirits. And as you see, he was so close to putting the ring on. She was happy. She was happy, right? Manifested. The spirit husband did not want her to get married because that was an agreement she had with him, knowingly or unknowingly. Now, I could tell y'all a quick testimony. When I was in the world, when I was sleeping with a bunch of females, I'll tell y'all two testimonies. I'm going to tell y'all a quick testimony first with my marriage. So me, I had... Incubus, succubus, spirits. My wife had that because when we got together, we was un, we wasn't, we wasn't, you know, we wasn't Christians. So she came with spirit husbands when we first met, like years ago, and I came with spirit wives because you know that's just what happened. But we was all good. Soon as I married Lauren, our relationship started to get hell. I'm talking about fighting relentlessly, and it came. To, and now that I know now. By, by knowledge, you know, for my spiritual uh, leaders, you know, shout out to them. They, they tell me because, you know, everything I learn is it's coming from my spiritual leaders. And they told me that a lot of times people being marriages and, and fiancés, somebody got a spirit spouse that they don't know. And, you know, demons don't like to know that they're there. A spirit spouse is sleeping with you in the bedroom, in the spirit room. You think you by yourself. But it's a spirit spouse having sex with you, taking your sperm, putting it on the altars. That you got kids in the spirit realm. You got spiritual kids in the spirit realm. And you have, I'm going to put some prayers in this video as well that you can pray every day and renounce and denounce and send the spirit. I mean, send the fire of the Holy Ghost all over. Send the fire to attack these spirits. That was one testimony. Me and my wife was just arguing all the time. We didn't know why. Spirit spouse, she had a spirit husband. Now, there's another testimony. Um, Holy Spirit used me because I just forgot it. Um, okay, there you go. I was in the world. And, um, I'm fasted. You know, I, I rebuked all these spirits. People casting these spirits off. And I'm talking about, I'm getting attacked. I'm getting attacked left and right by these spirit spouse and I used to feel nasty and dirty. Wake up on hard. You know, it felt real. Wake up, my mouth open like this. You know what I'm saying? No, this stuff is real. They're territorial. And sometimes, um, like I've been told, um, sometimes it's either through 
uh, um, old past relationships you got to renounce, denounce, um, soul ties with people. It's so much that's in our soul. And you got to get rid of these spirits. One, you got to repent, give your life to the Lord. So take a cool second right quick right now. If you haven't even repent and you want to give your life to the Lord and you know that you got a spirit spouse, because with spirit spouses, and spirit husbands, succubus, incubus, they drain your anointing. They drain your, they drain your life. You don't never prosper in nothing. Uh, they listen to you. They like, they hear everything going on. So you might be having plans to prosper and boom, something just fell. Find out your breakthrough, boom, gone. Like these things are real, you know, they're minded in spirits. Like these things are real. So all I'm going to say is uh, if you feel like you, you know, feel in your heart that you want to give your life to the Lord, uh, repeat these words, pray these words. Dear Lord, I'm a sinner. Uh, please forgive me. Come into my life. Feel me, Lord. I believe you died on the cross and was risen on the third day. Lord, be my Lord and Savior. I'm done living in this sinly world. I give it up. I surrender in Jesus' mighty name. And you have entered into the kingdom of heaven. Go to a church. Go get um, baptism of the Holy Spirit. And yeah, and now you can renounce these prayers that I'm going to put at the end of this video. Renounce it. Renounce it. Denounce it. Pray these prayers. And um, yeah, man. So because these spirit spouses, you've seen it. That was a manifestation from everybody. People that didn't know what was going on probably thought she was crazy. Like, what? No, that stuff is real. Go get help. I love y'all. And um, if you feel led like you want to sow into this ministry to help this ministry so uh my cash up will be down below all you got to do is click a link you can give by sharing you can give by comment you can give by um you can give by like so into this ministry so that way this ministry can grow and every time you sow the holy spirit god the father if you do it with a willing heart he will make it go by 20 40 50 60 100 fold believe by faith Every city that you sow will reap a harvest for you. So if you want to sow, man, um, you know my cash app down below. And y'all go get help. Go get help, man. The Holy Spirit wanted me to do this video. You know, um, I had an attack today, you know, and one last thing as well. For the Christians that don't have demons, so it's another attack that they do. Shout out to my man Andy. He told me about this. So for 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 the ones that's really Christians and they got delivered and all that, they would attack you so that way they you can think that you're not holy and you can think that you still got something left over in you and you can think that so you're wrong. No, you're not wrong. For the true believers, you're not wrong. The marine kingdom is these spirits. The marine kingdom is these spirits, and they want you to think that you have, you know, this waste and these soul ties. You don't. You've been oppressed, and you have to pray these prayers. I have to pray these prayers so that way they can get the fire of God all over their life. In Jesus' mighty name. And then that's how you destroy the marine kingdom. It is a war going on, and you have to be smart. You have to be tactical. You don't go on a war shooting everywhere. Shout out to my man Andy once again. Surround yourself with a community of brothers and sisters to help y'all fight this war. In Jesus' mighty name, I love y'all. Stay blessed.